Can an epidural cause nerve damage and or paralyze me? Okay, permanent nerve damage and paralysis is extremely, extremely rare. Let me just give you like kind of like an idea. One in 240 patients will have some sort of issue thereafter. Okay. Did you think about it when you got in the car on your way driving to the actual hospital? You have a way higher, like significantly higher chance of getting into a car accident, of something happening in that way than you ever do with a potential little pinch of the actual nerve. Now, just to let you know, this is the actual epidural needle so that you can see, and a spinal needle is actually even smaller. So anytime we go inside of your back, remember, we are going below the L1 area. So L1 is your spinal cord that's that's the real juice the meat and potatoes right and it stops at l1 then everything thereafter it's almost like a horse's tail a cauda equina so if we were to brush it with the actual epidural woo right you might feel like a oh i felt like a zing or some a little bit of electricity and we would never end up pushing medication if you told us that so make sure that we are dead in the middle for the actual epidural and anything that you feel that feels weird or a little zing let us know but again it is is extraordinarily rare to have permanent nerve damage. I know personally I've been practicing for 12 years and I've never had a patient have either of those complications. So grab an nausea band if you want to have a puke-free and nausea-free delivery. Trust me, you'll be so happy you did. It's the only one with essential oil and acupressure all put together. So again, the more you know.